Mahashadara, lift your hands. Anybody ready for something? Lord, I'm hungry. Just open your mouth. 
of Jesus. One, two, three. You scream, I receive. That's right. And there will be eruptions everywhere. Unclean spirits will check out. Afflictions will disappear. Chains will be broken. Or anything that my father has not planted in your life shall be dismantled. And above all, fresh graces, fresh mantles, fresh releases will come upon you. Are you ready? Lift your hands. Father, let mount the mantles fall. Let fresh fire fall. Let the oil draw. Let the hand of the Lord be released. In the name of Jesus, one.
thoughts come together for this transfer. We've come to command this day and we lift up our voice right away. Father, we want to thank you for today. Thank you, O oh God, for the opportunity and the privilege to command this day. We stand on the authority of your word. We declare this service open in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask, O oh God, that you minister to us. We ask that you answer our prayers as we proceed, O oh God. We ask, O oh God, that the heavens be open upon us and let the answers to our prayers come speedily today in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. We'll go right ahead and we'll take our praise and worship. Pardon the late delay in the start today. You know that we're on the crusade ground and things can come up here and there. But just get fixed on the service this evening and don't let anything distract you and let God answer your prayers. Tell God, Father, for every delay today, I receive double for every delay today. I receive double to my answers to my prayers. Let's celebrate the Lord. Somebody give the Lord a shout of praise. Just like you are a great God. You
What do you carry? What do you carry? Hey, baby, rabba, baba, 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 baba. Somebody rabba, baba, for Jesus. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord. Please be seated in God's presence. Wherever you are right now, around the world, reach out to your friends. Put a call through. Let them let know it is time for us to command the day. And the Lord will bless you tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Let's look at some testimonies of God's doings in our midst very quickly. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Let's look at some testimonies very quickly. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Can we just pick one or two praise worship while we... Trying to connect to the system to pick up. We praise your name, O oh Lord. We give you all the praise. We praise your name, O oh Lord. We give you all the praise. Come on, put your hands together. Give them a shout of hallelujah. Let's look at the testimonies. Greetings, Dunamis family. I bless the God of Dr. P and Dr. And Mrs. Becky, Dr. And Mrs. Paul and Enche that connected me to this online platform. I have had many encounters with this mantle of the commission through the faces of his servants. I'm focusing this testimony to a declaration about a burning, a broken machine, sorry. My car broke down two months ago and they diagnosed engine failure that would require a new, sorry, I can't see very clearly, that require a new engine that was going to cost almost $4,000. $4, I keyed into the declaration for God's intervention. Shortly after, someone decided to take a second look at the car and found no fault but just that it needed a minute part a, a minute a minute part which which change, which change of, oil. of oil this this screen is very, it's very far okay. yes sir with we, we just it we just hundred dollars the car has been repaired I know it can only be God and to him be all the glory. The picture is attached. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give the Lord the praise. You want to go closer to the screen? Yes, sir. Okay. Sorry. All right. Can we look at the next testimonies? Next testimony. Praise the Lord. I fell down from the, from the bathtub and dislocated my right hip and was battling with the pain when I joined the command the day midnight prayers on the 17th of March, 2024. And to my amazement, at the tail end of the prayers, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche mentioned my case. He pointed at the exact spot on his right thigh and said there was someone with pain on that right hip. I didn't wait for him to finish. I jumped out of the bed and screamed, Sweetheart, that is my husband. 
Pastor has mentioned my case. I am healed. All glory to God. I can now walk properly. The pain gone forever in Jesus' mighty name. Declaration is attached. Hallelujah. While I'm praying right now on this particular prayer point, that person with that terrible condition on the on the, on the on the right leg, from the, the waist down, especially you can the leave hips, it, don't worry. right there, right leg, pain, affliction, that arrow is retrieved and refired back to hell. <laughs> this prayer was stopped at this point because of you. Amen. God knows you. And everyone around the world right now, suffering from every form of pain, what I say to one, I say to all, they are returned back to hell Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Hallelujah. Bigger, 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 bigger clap and a loud shout of praise. Let's celebrate one more minute. You are walking battle. Jehovah, you do well. Oh. You do well. Oh. You are going to battle. Jehovah, you do well. Oh. Hallelujah. We'll take a look at a few more testimonies. We want to thank God for his help. And we trust God that we'll get through to the end very smoothly. And I know that nothing shall delay your answers to your prayers in the name of Jesus. Wake somebody up and let them be a part of this Commanding the Day Midnight Prayers today. Let's go ahead and take uh, maybe like two more testimonies so that we'll conserve our time. Abiodun uh, Baba Lola from Akure says, Good day, sir and ma. Uh, good day, dear. Good day, sir. And the commanding the day ministry, ministers. For the past two weeks, his right ear had been partially blocked and itchy. While trying to itch it, he mistakenly bruised his inner ear with a sharp object and it became very painful. He did ear irrigation on the 19th of March, which came out very painful due to the inner bruises. He came back with pains and could barely hear well. Hear well. He had to take sleeping pills and antibiotics with the mind that it would, he will watch the rebroadcast of the commanding your day. He slept up at, at around 7.14 a.m. A hand woke him up and he rushed to connect to the rebroadcast. Immediately he joined, God's servant was taking authority over ear afflictions. He said there's someone with the name starting with D, that the ear is closed, and he cursed it, and said anyone with such an affliction, it is open. Brethren, that was the end of the pain in his right ear. He gives God all the glory for the healing. The declaration is attached. There is somebody with a, with a right ear that is closed. I curse that ear affliction. I command the ear to open right now. In the name of Jesus, I command that ear to be open. Whether it's the first name or the son name. And everyone with such an affliction, it is open. Hallelujah. Every affliction is terminated today in the name of Jesus. Yes, let's take a look at another one. Echo E.M. from Kuali in the FCT says, Above only, he has come to return all the glory to God. He joined the commanding the day midnight prayer in December 2023 through his in-laws. He was on a sick bed after he had had surgery on the 14th of December that almost took his life. After the surgery... He started battling with the healing of his body, which refused to come together. His family and himself became worried that he was visiting the hospital on a daily basis for dressing. It was bringing out serious water and smells. So he joined praying. He started. He joined praying and trusting God for healing. On the 18th of January, commanded the, the commanding the day prayers. Pastor declared and said, "There is somebody watching that is." battling with an open wound on the body that God is drying up. Immediately, he placed his hand on the screen and shouted a very big amen. Ola, 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 ola. People of God, the next morning when he woke up, 
the liquid coming out had drastically reduced. Normally, he sleeps with a big towel covering it. But that fateful day of encounter, he felt it because he left it because he knew that that was his word. Before evening, the liquid stopped oozing completely, and by the next day, the face of the womb started looking dry. As the days went by, it improved, and in the space of seven days, exactly, the wound healed, like healed completely. He thanks God of dynamis, the God of the commanding the day midnight prayer. He returns the glory to God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Declaration is attached. There is an open wound, an open sore on the body of someone that God is drying up right now. I command that womb to dry. I command that saw to dry. Hallelujah. I think we, we will stop. Go ahead. Two okay, more. okay, two more. All right, fine. Brother Preye Nelson from Yenagua says, above only, that is my place. He says he has come to return all the glory to God for deliverance from the spirit of death and confirming it through the word of his servant, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche. At the commanding the day midnight prayer of the 11th of March, God's servant made a declaration against snake attack spiritually or physically that happened within the past four days and arrested the spirit of death that was sent. That was for him. Brethren, power dead is altar. Oh, how many of you believe that? Yes, on the 10th of March, at about 6, eight. Uh, 8 to 9 p.m., he was seated in his compound discussing with a visitor. Suddenly, the visitor shouted, Ogasi snake! He turned and saw a fast-moving snake that was heading straight in his direction from the closed walkway. He jumped up, and while they scrambled for an object to kill it, the snake made a sharp U-turn, heading towards the gate. But they quickly killed it. Praise God. That's good. And they burnt it to ashes. Praise God. Brethren, this happened in a well-lit environment with interlocked floor and no grass. He's here to appreciate God as he's not taking this for granted. He believes he will come back for more testimonies soon as the yoke of prolonged expectation has been um, soon because the yoke of prolonged expectation has been declared broken by the senior pastor on this prayer altar. Glory! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Uh, have you shown the crowd that are here on the crusade ground still after the crusade for the commanding the day prayer in soon. Kaduna? Soon. Praise. Okay, senior pastor, soon. Let's take the last testimony for this segment. That's a declaration. Oh, that's a declaration. I take authority over that rattlesnake that was just ready to strike you, whether it is wow. in the fish or in the fish on the dream or in the physical. Lack of sick, a kid, lack of paradigm. Within the, the, the last four days, I take authority over that agenda of the enemy. It is foiled and it is destroyed. And everywhere they have positioned the spirit of death against you. That death is cancelled. Wow. Hallelujah. Look at him straight for the man. Straight for the man. On an interlocked floor, well lit environment. Sorry. And then when they wanted to kill it, he did you turn to start running away. Every arrow that was fired against you, today it shall not escape the judgment of God. They shall be laid to rest in the name of Jesus. Let's take one more testimony tonight. A he is from Abuja says, wow. good morning, household of God. She's returning wow. the glory to God Almighty for his mercy that located her in the commanding the day midnight prayer of the 19th slash 20th of March when God, servant, when God used his servant, the senior pastor, to mention his case. Pastor called and spelled her name, Ehis, and declared upon the life and destiny and glory and star and rising that had been tampered with. Exactly her case. She grew up as an orphan. At the age of 20, it had been 
um, it has been personal struggles all her life, struggled to train herself from the university and through law school, and now married with children, the struggle seems not to have ended. With her many academic qualifications, oh, he's a man, I beg your pardon, I was calling you she, and his wife, being a master's degree holder as well, they can't they couldn't even seem to lay hold on a job. It's been struggle to survive all along. And he has had done series of personal drive fasts. He has been connecting to the commanding the day midnight prayer since inception, believing to receive his visitation one day. Alas, God has visited him today through his servant. Thank you, Lord, and God bless his spiritual parents in the Lord. He shall return with the results of this declaration. The declaration is attached. Receive your visitation. Now he is. T-N-M-E-H-I-S. I don't know if it's the whole name or it was just a completion. Let to Safarata, what the enemy did to tamper with your life and tamper with your destiny and tamper with your glory and tamper with your favor and tamper with your life. I declare the reversal right now in the name of Jesus. I was hearing such a name myself. Stand up on your feet and let's celebrate the King of Kings. Suffering since yesterday. Those of you who may be connected from around the world, you may not understand. But if you can, you can watch, watch it. And so he tried to temper with the command of the day of tonight, but he has already failed. You start this second and dance. Dance your victory ahead. Let's go. Uh -huh.
In Jesus' precious name, Amen. the Lord has heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Luke chapter 10 and in verse 17, the Bible said, And the seventh to return again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And then continue to verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and on scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall thy enemies hurt you. In the previous verse, he said, I beheld Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Revelation chapter 12 and in verse 11, he said, We overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, take authority we take authority over every satanic, over every satanic reprisal, reprisal counter attack, and antagonism of your acts in our midst in, in this season. We bring them into defeat, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, we take authority over every satanic reprisal, counter attack, and antagonism of your acts in our midst in this season. We bring them into defeat, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. the Lord had an answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 92 and in verse 10, it said, But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Somebody receiving fresh oil today, shout the Lord and say, Amen. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day this new with, with fresh oil and spiritual horn of authority to establish the defeat of the adversary in this day. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I step into this new day with fresh oil and spiritual horn of authority to establish the defeat of the adversary. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus precious name Amen. the Lord had an answer us in Jesus name Amen. we are going to look at the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 Isaiah chapter 60 and in verse 1 he said arise shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you anybody whose light is come say louder Amen, Amen. and in John chapter 1 verse 5 he said that light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day. This new day. All right, Father, Father I, declare I declare this new day, this new day. As, my day as my day of light, of light and, glory. and glory. I escape every activity, every activity of darkness and shame today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead and pray. In Jesus precious name Amen. Acts chapter 20 and in verse 32 He said that now brethren I commend you to God And to the word of his grace Which is able to build you up And give you your inheritance Among them that are sanctified 
Anybody ready to receive your inheritance? Shout aloud, amen. amen. Lift your hands and say, Father, Father I, take full I take full delivery of all of, all of, all my, of my inheritance in you, in, you, in, this, new in this new day. Oh Lord, oh Lord in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Father, I take full delivery of all that is my inheritance in you. In Jesus' precious name, that arrow they fired on the center of your back, right on the right hand side, right in the middle of this prayer. And you say, Why can why will I experience such a thing in the middle of the prayer? I retrieve that arrow, I refire it back to sender. You are saying, Amen, shout the Lord and say, Amen. Psalm 65 and in verse 2, it said, Oh, thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. You believe your prayers tonight are answered. You say a loud amen. amen. Say after me, say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for answers Father, to all prayers, all prayers. Today, today. We have come to you come because to you. of the assurance of answered prayers. We receive them, Lord, in Jesus' name. Go on ahead and speak to God. <laughs> In Jesus' precious name, Amen. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 1 wake somebody up as we deal with the wicked. The wicked flee when no man pursues. But the righteous are bold as a lion. Say after me, say, Father, Father we, ask today we ask today that the wicked, that the wicked and, their and their wickedness will take flight, will take flight today, today and be completely, and be completely hindered, hindered from performing, from performing their, enterprise. their enterprise today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Father, we ask today that the wicked and their wickedness will take flight today and be completely hindered from performing their enterprise today Lord in the name of Jesus we ask that the wicked and their wicked will take flight today and be completely hindered from performing their enterprise today Lord Master Lord in Jesus precious name Amen. Isaiah 5 and in verse 24 the Bible said therefore as the fire devoured the stubble and the flame consumed the chaff so their root shall be as rottenness can you say a louder amen? amen and their blossoms shall go up as, as the dust because they have cast away the law of the Lord of us and despite the word of the Holy One of Israel. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father we, ask we ask for the release, for the release of, the of the fire of your judgment, of your judgment on, every on every enemy altar, altar of, bloodshed, of bloodshed, premature death, premature death pain, 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 sorrow, sorrow wasting, wasting, destruction, destruction or frustration. Or frustration. We, declare them, we declare them set on fire, set on fire. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, say, Father, Father we, ask we ask for the release, for the release of, the of the fire of your judgment, of judgment on every enemy altar of bloodshed, premature Death, pain, 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 sorrow, sorrow wasting, wasting, destruction, or frustration. We declare them set on fire, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus precious name Amen. Psalm 138 and in verse 8 he said the Lord will perfect that which concerned me thy mercy O Lord endure it forever forsake not the works 
or thine own hands. Lift your voice and hands and say, Father, Father I, ask I ask that you'll complete, you complete and perfect, and perfect all, that all that concerns me in this season. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you'll complete and perfect all that concerns me in this season, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. <laughs> In Jesus precious name Amen. the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus name Amen. John chapter 6 and in verse 44 the Bible said no man can come to me except the father which has sent me draw him and I will raise him at the last day lift your voice and say father, father we, ask we ask for the pool, for the pool of, your Lord, of your Lord on the soul, on the soul of man in our harvest field unto salvation, unto salvation and discipleship salvation. through this altar oh Lord, oh Lord in the name of Jesus again Father, Father we, ask we ask for the pool, for the pool of, your Lord, of your Lord on the souls on the soul of men in, in our harvest field unto salvation and discipleship through this altar oh Lord in the name of Jesus go on ahead and speak to God In Jesus precious name Amen. The Lord had an answer us in Jesus name Amen. Go on ahead and let's celebrate the King of Kings Let's go Celebrate Creator of the universe What can you do What can you do Say He's the name Name, 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 name Name, 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 name. What can you say Oh and a loud shout of praise. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord as we take a couple more testimonies and then personal supplication. Wake somebody up. I know some people may have been distracted by the early pitches, but don't let, don't miss this communion night. Let's go. This is Sister I.S. from Abuja. Calvary greetings to all the Command of the Day prayer family. I have come to return all glory to the God of Command of the Day altar. For remembering me on this altar, this is Sister I.S. from Abuja. Pastor Paul and Nature mentioned my case on Tuesday, 19th of March. It was so clear and accurate. I prayed, fasted, done series of deliverance since 2022 for God to deliver me from online loan app borrowing. 
online loan app is an addiction like cocaine. It has cost me so much my peace, my respect, my life. I have not been able to move forward in life since I find myself in this devilish act. It has put me into so much debt because I end up borrowing money from friends to pay back this online loan so I can move on. The more I try to move on, the more I find myself in so much debt. I've attempted taking my own life as a result of this. Oh my God. This is a problem I have shared with, I have never shared with anyone because I'm too ashamed to share it. Just me and my God all these years, I, I cry every day. Praying to God to deliver me. I have not had a single piece since 2022 because of calls from these loan apps. I try every day to avoid being disgraced because I have been disgraced more than five times. I've been fighting this battle till yesterday when pastor mentioned my case and even confirmed that a person he was talking about has a pain on the side like a kidney pain and that the pain is gone. I have had this pain for two years and immediately after the declaration the pain left. Hey! I have this peace in my mind because I know I have been delivered from the yoke of debt and borrowing. I am coming back to testify again because I know that God has settled all my debts. Declaration attached. Wow. Somebody who is a victim of and that is online borrowing. Borrowing from platforms. You see, it just, just, that, that is, that is that pressure to keep borrowing, to just keep borrowing, and you are neck deep in debt right now, and every other person in that category the last time the urge came, shall be the last forever somebody shout power to show that you are the one I'm talking about as I speak to you, there is a pain like the, the, the place of the kidney on the right flank, right at the back there, yes I declare that that pain is gone and it's a sign to you that that spell is broken from your Hey! Somebody give the Lord a praise. Anyone in any form of, in any such form of addiction, it is broken right now. Let us go. Sister P.A. from Cameroon. Above only that's my place. God bless Commander Demi in my prayer and most especially my mother-in-law. She introduced me to this prayer platform October last year. And has not stopped since then. Reminding and making sure I participate. I have come to say thank you father. In the year 2015. When I was 15 years old. Wow. I visited a friend's house. While in secondary school. And had my first encounter. With a pornographic movie. I come from a Christian background. This was strange to me. But since that day. The desire grew into many other things. Acts. Masturbation. Which happens to be the means I disvirgined myself. Wow. Wow. And became even more addicted to lesbians. And other horrible things on the website. This act ruined my entire life since secondary school days. I met a teacher in 2020. Who found out somehow that I've never slept with a man. Seeing that. I was timid and said I would stop having these desires if I had an encounter with a man. This happened with four different men in less than six months. Did you hear that? I became a shadow of myself in 2021. I went back to God as I began to fear that my life will end up in ruins. I began to walk with God again but the urge to watch porn and masturbate refused to go no matter the spiritual activity I did. I felt guilty whenever I committed the act and would still climb to minister praise and worship. Oh no. I asked God many times if he didn't see my heart. I really want to stop this. Thank God for this platform. I sincerely thank God for my mother-in-law. I began to key into every related testimony and screenshot them. My last encounter March 13, 2024 was the last and since then, they all just pack back to hell. My prayer life and ministry is on fire. I can't stop thanking God for this platform and my mother-in-law. 
I don't take it for granted. May God bless every member and participants of this program. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Can somebody stand on your feet and give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise? This is very, very strange right here. But someone seated here. You said, Lord, this is my testimony. This is a testimony I want to share. Break me free from this porn, from this masturbation, from this exact description of this lady. I don't want to disgrace you. The camera will not pick your face. But just run forward here to this altar. And I'm going to pray for you. Lay hands on you and break that yoke. Don't look at who is looking at you. Just put the devil to shame. And rush to this front here now. If you are ashamed, I'm going to go. I'll give you only the count of five. Man or woman. Masturbation. I want to be free from it. Tonight. At the heat of this ministration. One. Two. Three. You didn't need to wait that long. Because I knew. Four. The camera, yes, face me. Lift your hands. The camera can only show them from the back. There. I, I want one or two ushers to stand behind, behind, behind me. Lift your hands. Anyone who condemns any of these people, God will hold you responsible. Don't look at them as, as sinners because there are some with worse things. Fire! Freedom! Yes, 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 yes. Free. Help, 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 help. Free. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Yoke is broken. Yoke is broken. Yoke is broken. Yoke. Yes, help, help her. Help her. Free. That's right. That's right. Free. 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 Yes, help her right there. In the name that is above every name. Everyone who has been a victim of this kind of affliction, it is over. In the name of Jesus. It is over. In the name of Jesus. One more time, I caution everyone here. Don't look at anybody with any strange eye. I declare today the yoke is broken. This command today day is turning into somebody, something else. There is a man here who is attracted to men. I don't know if you do it, but you are attracted to men. You are a man attracted to man. I want to pray for you. I'm not saying that you are a homosexual, but I'm saying there is that strange attraction to man. And you don't want it to continue. You don't want to have such attraction. Again, I can go straight if you want me to. But God means business tonight to set you free. Quickly rush to the front and I'll pray for you. At the count of five. I don't want that strange attraction. One. Two. What will people say? What does it matter? God bless you. Three. That yoke is broken. That yoke is broken. That yoke is broken. That yoke is broken. Lift up your hands. Father said that go. Tormented devil. Lead us out of perversion. Your tenor expired in the name of Jesus. You are free. Sister from Cameroon. Do you see how many freedom? Your testimony has brought people right on this live ground. Take your seat, people. Take your seat. Was that the second or the first I read? Mrs. Sele from Abuja. He said, brethren, I was introduced to this prayer altar by my neighbor who saw the affliction of my brother's life. I joined this prayer altar on February 21st. My brother was afflicted with different kinds of diseases in his body. One, a big lump on his spinal cord. Two, Swelling on both sides of his stomach, free. He was urinating blood. The pain from the lump was so bad 
that he could neither sit nor walk properly without shouting in pain. That is growth on the spinal cord. I brought this situation to God since two of the hospitals we went to run tests couldn't find anything. Brethren, like a dream, on the 28th of February, God remembered him through his servant, Dr. Pastor Paul and the pastor declared, you'll be rating blood and that blood is dried up. I shouted in, amen. The next day, his urine was as clear as water. I kept praying and believing God for the swelling around his stomach and the lump on his back also to also disappear before you know it. On another night, pastor made mention of someone with a swelling on the right side of the abdomen. I said to him and claimed it on his behalf. Brethren, the next day, the swelling, that's the lump on the back has disappeared and the swelling on both sides of his abdomen disappeared. This can only be God. I am truly grateful. I will surely return with more testimonies. Glory to God Almighty. Somebody shout the Lord and say amen. Picture is attached. Wow. Of the lump on the back. And then, can you see, this is back of a person. This is the back of a person, not the stomach, not the abdomen. And that deflated until back is normal. Are you just looking like that? All right. And then you proceed on to the declaration. I take authority over urinary blood at Thomas. You be urinating blood. I curse that devil right now. Lose your grip. Get out. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. Do we have one or two more? Sister, I'll get you from Enugu State. Above only that's our place. I thank God for this powerful prayer movement. My pregnant neighbor in my, co in my compound came straight from the antenatal visit crying that the scan showed that our baby is in bridge position and they want to book her for elective cesarean session. I encourage her to connect to command the day midnight prayer, which I introduced her to previously. She went and did another scan in another diagnostic center. And it was the same report. I collected the report from her and was presenting it to God during commanded day midnight prayers and during personal supplication. I also keyed to the testimony of a sister that testified that God changed the bridge position of her baby. Hey! This our God is too real. Labor started on the 29th of February. And she didn't know it was labor. It was a painless one. Hola, hola, hola. She came and told me that she doesn't know how she was feeling. And after asking her questions, I told her to take her bath and go to the hospital that she's in labor. She laughed and left. Before you know it, they started calling me from her house. And on getting there, the baby was already coming out with the Catholic head presentation. Hey! We were confused, but God helped us. And she was delivered of a four kilogram baby without any form of complication. They were taken to the hospital for proper observation. That is, she delivered at home a child that was originally breached. Head, it turned head down four kilograms. Normal baby size is 2.5 to 3.5. This is a big baby. I thank God for his awesome works on this prayer altar. God bless every member of this movement. He calls it movement. I will come back to testify of his wonders that I'm believing him for my family. Picture of this can kind attached. Of Initial report of breach. Give the Lord the praise. Hallelujah. Give the Lord the praise. Can you stand one minute and let's celebrate the King of Kings one minute?
what you want you deserve praise. Give the Lord a big clap and the Lord shout of praise. Wow. Can you go on your knees before God or whatever, whichever position you want to take? Appreciate God for the testimonies we heard and proceed in personal supplication for the next 90 seconds. Thank you, Jesus. And how great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. All will see how great. How great is our God. Go on ahead. Father, we give you the praise. I will give you the honor. In Jesus' precious name. Can you stand up on your feet everywhere you are? is true, then let everyone lift up their communion anywhere you are. What arrangement is that? Can the ministers let us know what's, what's happening? Lift it up high up. All over the all over wherever you are around the world, lift up your communion.
lift it higher. talk to man. It is a night of perfection. By the power of the blood and the body of Jesus that was broken for our perfection. Everything that was imperfect in your life. Tonight I announce it is perfected. Every area of your life where Satan has held you back. I declare today. By the reason of the body and the blood of Jesus. That grip is broken. Every ancestral curse. Generational curse. Family curse and covenant. Over your life, your family, your destiny. That is affecting your life. Today it is broken. That man with the spell of confusion. The spell of disorientation. Disillusion. You don't have faith or confidence or hope or anything. The only thing that has prevented you from being mad is God. But the, the devil has tried to make your life empty. I don't know who you are and where you are, but today the, the yoke is broken. Among this category of people is someone with a name like with, with an M like a Michael. I declare that yoke is broken in the name of Jesus. What the devil say you cannot finish, you will finish it. Courtship for over five years, going to seven years. No. Whether it is a financial challenge, a limitation from your father's house, today the yoke is broken. Man with a name that starts with an E, I declare a supernatural supply of resources that will turn around your story in the name of Jesus Christ. Take authority over sleep apnea, insomnia, and I take authority over that uncompleted building. Spell of uncompleted building. I see that you travel. I see that you gave some people some money. Just appreciation. And they use the same money to tie your destiny down. Project has been on a standstill for years. Today, I declare the embargo is lifted. Within the next one week, the Lord show you sign that what the enemy arrested is now released. That right hand and right shoulder affliction is, is healed. In the name of Jesus. That sharp back pain is healed. In the name of Jesus. Father bless Keturah with the fruit of the womb. And every other person here trusting God with the fruit of the womb. I declare the yoke broken in the name of Jesus. Father, take that terminal diagnosis of the life of Job. And every other person that has a diagnosis that is terminal, whether it's kidney or cancer, whatever it is, I declare it is broken. HIV is cleaned out. Hepatitis is cleaned out. Ulcer is cleaned out. Now, before you take that communion, some people, somebody said, I, I asked God to mention my case to the senior pastor, and he mentioned it. That case, you would have loved for it to mention. Mention it to God now. Lord, as I take this communion, I am using it directly to attack this situation. And let this thing die tonight. Open your mouth and tell God one minute. Everywhere you are. 
I want delay to die now. I want the spirit of impersonation to leave me alone. Spirit husband to go to hell. I want to be free from this water spirit. In Jesus precious name. So shall it be. As you take this communion tonight. What you have told God. You receive it now as your answer. You sleep overnight. I see a lot of surgeries happening. I see angelic healing spirits of God doing a lot of things in the, in the body of the people. I see diverse encounters. I see the Lord taking you to your village and uprooting things from the ground and dealing with altars and shrines and cutting the hairs of serpents. Hey! And you wake up tomorrow morning with fulfillment and celebration. Our tomorrow night is a night of, of the garment of celebration. The garment of praise and celebration. Every devil that says you should not celebrate, that devil is dying overnight. And so, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Before we take that communion, the Bible said, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Anywhere you are tonight, in need of forgiveness for your sins. You want today to mark a new day in your life. Pray this prayer after me and say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of help. Come into my life. Make me a new person. Help me, Lord, to live for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Go ahead and take the communion. So shall it be. Stretch your two hands in front of you. I prophesy upon your hands. Your harvest shall look for you. From the north, the south, the east and the west. So shall it be. Honor God with what you can. Listen. Some of us tonight, wherever you are watching around the world, the most mind-blowing encounter you have ever seen that will lead you to your deliverance. I see money that is heaped somewhere that is being removed from a witchcraft strong room and no cult house that has been hid away, that is being released, that will be revealed even in the encounter of night. Some of the most drastic encounters of your life will happen overnight. And somebody, your spiritual life is catching fire finally. Tonight, we need to hear all the testimonies tomorrow morning. The Lord bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you in Jesus' precious name. 2024. And above only, congratulations, shake three hands and celebrations. My God has the key of David. Your foes if none can shun. He has opened your door for me. And no man can shun. I have step, step, step. Safely in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and celebration. Is my open door. Is my open door. Is my open door. Because of Jesus, oh, oh, yeah, double, 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 double.